So let's have a look at D. Uh, at the beginning of every eight hour period, a patient is given 10 milliliters of a particular drug. Okay. During each of these eight hour periods, the patient's body partially breaks down the drug. Only one third of the total amount of the drug is the drug. Only one third of the total amount of the drug present in the patient's body at the beginning of each hour period remains at the end of the period. Okay. How much of the drug is in the patient's body immediately after the second dose is given? Okay. okay. So, all right. So basically you got dose one. Um, for I, I figured it out pretty quickly. I think it yep. was because it will be one third left from the previous one. It will be 10 over three plus 10. Yes. Good. All right. So you've got, um, so you got the uh, at the so you got you got ten over three plus ten, right? So your answer is thirteen and a third milliliters for part one. Got it? Yeah. Show that the total amount of the drug in the patient's body never exceeds fifteen milliliters. Now, is that going to be like an arithmetic? series oh no <laughs> okay. close but i like the way you're thinking you're very very you're very close to to, to getting there okay do you want to do you want to try another have another attempt it's not um, if it's, would it be geometric then yes it'll be okay. geometric and in particular what part of geometric series would it be uh infinite yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that called? Do any of you other guys remember? Starts with L. Limited. Oh, yeah, yeah. Limiting sum. It's the limiting sum. Ah, uh, limiting sum. Yeah. Now, what's the limiting sum say? Um, it was like. What's the formula? I think it was. A, I like the first value yeah, over yeah. ratio minus one or one minus ratio. One minus ratio. Very good. So what's okay. A? the initial dose? It's the first dose. Uh, 10 mils. mils. What's R? Uh, uh, one third. One third. One third. Right. Got it? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So put that in. So it'd be one minus one third, which would be 10, ten on two thirds. Two thirds, which would be 10 Third. divided by two thirds, which is 10 times three on two. Which gives us 15. 30 on two, which would be 15 milliliters. So it will never exceed 15. Okay. Um, Artie, you okay with that? Yeah, that helped a lot. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you reference whether it's a limiting sum or not? Is it when, if you don't have like a final value? Yes, 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 yes. Um, a couple of things. You know that it's geometric, right? Yeah. Okay, because your common ratio is one third. Your initial um, um, dosage is 10, okay? Right, you've got a common ratio. And then you've got an initial, okay? Now the two words that for me signal that this is a limiting sum is never exceeds. Okay and total amount, or the two phrases, I, should, I said two words, but two phrases, never exceeds and total amount. Okay? Yeah. And, my, and then I kind of go, ah, oh, all right, that means that the, you know, the A minus AR to the power of negative one, or when it comes to the sum, you've got this A times R to the power of N minus one over R minus one. Yep. You kind of yeah. get the idea that that is going to approach 
infinity, right? It never exceeds. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So that's how I know. Okay. So basically it's saying that as n approaches infinity, um, S of n will approach 15. Yes. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah.